Here, go. What is the marina, arena for morality? How should we think about it? I suppose... Don't you think, Josh, that well, the, the duty of the powerful is to protect the people who don't have the privilege of such power? And that should always be the bias. That should always be the bias. If you see the powerful protecting the powerful or further enhancing the privilege of the privileged, that's not a good system. Mm. So this but is the balance. has that ever been thus? I mean, has there ever been a case where the powerful have taken upon themselves <sighs> To protect but the we are involved. In, no, probably not, mate. But I don't think it's ever been as pronounced as it has been now. But I think it will change. You know, the darkest hour just before dawn and all that kind of cliche. But what I think is this. Check this out for an idea. Joseph Campbell said, like, talked about the myth of Christ, and he said that the reason the the, uh, the story of Christ is important is uh, the the temptation uh, for the, in the forty days in the wilderness. He's offered Christ material success. He offers him political power, and uh, he says, if you are so spiritual, he says to Christ, who swerves the first two tests, why don't you uh, kill yourself now and be only spirit and Christ says we are body and we are spirit and that's why he remains alive. Oriental and Eastern thinkers say that what is the relevance of the resurrection of a man 2,000 years ago? What does it matter if someone was resurrected 2,000 years ago if we are not resurrected now in the moment? And I recognise this from an atheistic perspective, which is not my perspective, I happen to believe in God, but if you are an atheist, I think we are at the summit of our evolution. We're 38% identical to bananas DNA-wise, we're 67% identical to earthworms DNA-wise, 98% identical to chimpanzees. DNA wise so we have what we share together is infinitely uh, greater than what separates us to be at the summit of our evolutionary possibility we have to live beyond the dead model of our animal selves of our urgent primal selves we have to be at the apex of evolution we have to be in the moment we can't live in the dead animal self of urges and uh, acquisitiveness. These, these are the things we have to transcend moment to moment. This is what I think is important, to live in the apex. See, like these old ideas about individualism, we've got to transcend them. The, the distinctions between you and I, we know that they are an illusion. We share the same DNA. There are invisible energies that are tr passing between us, the same way as this used to have Wi-Fi before some idiot tipped water on it. These invisible energies have to be harnessed and accessed because it's the only truth that matters. As long as we prioritise this material truth over spiritual truths, we will live in tyranny because we are living in an illusion. How the hell do you engage with Hollywood? 